Friday. As a European citizen and above all a global citizen, I advise investors on their journey to Europe. In addition to providing practical knowledge about the advantages, benefits and requirements for obtaining European citizenship, I also aim to inspire those who aspire to become European citizens. So what makes European citizenship so exceptional? My name is Stratford. I'm here to help you become a global citizen and attain financial and travel independence. My team and I at Portico on Bridge specialize in working with high and ultra high net worth individuals just like yourselves. We are here to help you find your freedom and choose where you belong. Before we dive into citizenship, we are all aware of the incredible quality of life in Europe, the scenic landscapes, the harmonious blend of nature and modern life, strong rule of law, low pollution, clean air and strict food standards that ensure good health for you and your children. These are just some of the reasons why more and more people are choosing to reside in Europe each day. Of course, Europe has its challenges, but I firmly believe that with determination, challenges can be overcome anywhere. Before we begin, a few words on why European citizenship requirements are more demanding compared to countries like the United States, Australia or Canada, which usually have a waiting period of four to five years. On the other hand, in contrast, European countries often require residency of up to seven years and some even have language proficiency requirements. The question is, is it worth it? Simply put, the rights you possess as a citizen in a European country are also your rights within the entire European Union. The freedom to travel within Schengen area is a privilege Golden Visa and long-term holders acquire. With European citizenship, you gain the freedom to move, live, and work in any European Union member state plus the four EFTA countries which are Switzerland, Norway, Iceland and the fourth one skips me. But there are four EFTA countries. Furthermore, there are other benefits to consider such as the possibility of investing in real estate in any of the 27 member states. The right to consular protection from EU member states whenever you travel with a European passport. Access to various education, healthcare and social welfare policies. Let us not forget that Europe is a pioneer and at the forefront of social welfare policies. Also, visa free travel to the majority of the globe. For example, a Spanish, Finnish, Italian, I don't know, German, Austrian passport, and obviously the list goes on and on, takes you to 190 countries visa-free. And don't forget the concept of dual citizenship. These benefits are truly remarkable and challenging to fully comprehend through words. Above all, there is also cultural diversity, the opportunity to live as you please, and the freedom to express your sexual orientation or gender freely and experience an extraordinary life. Trust me, even having a student visa or residency visa initially or provides invaluable insights, rights 
and perspectives. Imagine if your entire family chooses to live here. It's not only fantastic for you, but also for your child, who can grow up in such an environment with free education and freedom to travel and live throughout Europe. This is an amazing opportunity. With these enticing benefits, how can one obtain European citizenship? There are three main ways for third country nationals. The first one being through ancestry, descent. Being either your parents or grandparents were born in a European country and you can prove your bloodline. Then you can try this route. Another one is through marriage. Naturally, this takes time because you have to prove that you are living with your spouse for a minimum of five years. Also, residing in the country for a specified period to qualify for the right to apply for citizenship. However, I would also like to mention another recognized method, fast-tracking citizenship. It's important to note that European citizenship programs such as Cyprus and Bulgaria have permanently closed. However, the small island of Malta offers a fast-track naturalization program versus a donation to the government of Malta and going through a very stringent four-year due diligence process. This is an excellent option and I will provide more details about this in next week's video, so stay tuned. Another route to naturalization, as I mentioned above, is through residence. This is a familiar part for those who are not in a rush to obtain citizenship. Keep in mind that different countries have varying residency requirements. Consider what is most important to you. Choosing an excellent living environment or a country with easier naturalization requirements. The power of a European passport not only extends to your family, but also serves as a fantastic opportunity for future generations, offering a new world, a vibrant life and countless experiences. Undeniably, this is an invaluable legacy that surpasses any material possession you can give your children. Won't you agree? So that's it for today. If you have any experiences that you'd like to share with our like-minded community, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and make it a great day.